Business Generations Crawford plant, located on the north side of the Chicago Sanitarium Ship Canal in Pulaski, has been a familiar Chicago landmark for decades. Crawford Station was built in 1925. Uh, the first units went in service. Uh, there have been seven or eight units at Crawford uh, over the years. Today, only units seven and eight are still in service. The other units retired uh, prior to 1980. So the two units that we currently have in operation here were uh, put in service in 1959 and 1961. Midwest Generation's Fisk plant in Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood powered up in 1903. The one currently operating unit here went online in 1959. The company's Waukegan plant opened in 1923. Its three units were installed between 1952 and 1962. The Joliet plant on the Des Plaines River dates from 1916. Its three currently functioning units were installed between 1959 and 1966. Midwest Generation's Will County plant at Romeoville is its newest, with four units installed between 1955 and 1963. Pulverized coal fires all these plants. The temperature of the combustion inside the furnace is about 2200 degrees, and that's where the main fireball is, right in the center. The coal goes in at the corner of the furnace on all four sides. But over the last three decades, the opposition of environmentalists to conventional coal-fired plants has steadily increased. Well, coal is a pretty old and dirty way to get energy. When you burn coal, uh, and we burn coal to make energy because you do get a high heat content out of it, and it's relatively cheap to get out of the ground. But after that, that's really where the benefits stop. Anytime you burn coal, you're going to be harming the environment more so than the environment. You're going to be harming people. The bad things that coal contains and releases when it's burned are a consequence of coal's geology. It has many of the materials that were present in the environment back when the coal was, uh, was formed. And so there are just a multitude of trace materials of various metals uh, mercury. It really represents uh, what what was available in that environment and in the environment at, at the time when it was uh, ultimately turned into rock.